world today. You know, let me get back, if, if I may, to the, the fact that I do teach world religions at, at FIU. And to me, I have to emphasize again, uh, and it's not being redundant, I think it's very important for the viewers to hear this, that I said I teach Islam, Judaism, and Christianity at the same time. And anybody who's read the Quran realizes that, that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not come to create a new religion. He came to proclaim the religion of all the prophets. And once you realize that, it makes it impossible for anybody who knows anything about Islam to hate a Jew or to hate a Christian. Of course. Because these are people of the You world. cannot. <laughs> one of the wonderful things one of my colleagues said to me, listen, I've had many wonderful experiences at FIU as a professor. I already told you about my wonderful experience in Boston, uh, teaching at a historically black college with all that Muslim population that taught me so much with our lives uh, and, and their generosity towards me. But Dr. Seema Pesaris, who teaches at FIU, she said to me one day, she was lecturing in my class, and she says, I cannot hate a Jew or a Christian because the prophets of these two religions are mentioned in my holy book. And I thought that was just such a wonderful, wonderful expression. This is the kind of love and understanding and acceptance that breaks down the barriers of hate and division. We, it is incumbent upon us, we're educators, to teach the world, teach our students about that reality, not the reality of the media, not the reality of Islamophobia, people who criticize Islam without having read the Quran or having interacted with Muslims. By bringing people together, by showing what the Quran says, by showing how Islam is grounded in the religion of all the prophets, how indebted right, it is to these other two religions and how much it embraces them right, as people of the book. Let me add, Chapter 2 of the Quran, chapter 5 of the Quran talks about God gave these two peoples a revelation from God. Yes. And then, I, I already quoted it, unite, work together. On the area of commonality. In commonality, so. things that you have in common for the betterment of humanity. Yes. I mean, what, how could Samuel Huntington, right, who should have known better, write an essay about the class of civilizations pitting the Judeo-Christian West against a Islamic East? as if these two civilizations were in a perpetual struggle and clash uh, and seeking each other's destruction. That's just a total falsehood. But people, most people don't even know this. Most people have bought into Huntington because it was a professor of American civilization yes, at Harvard. Yes. That's even educated people can fall into false dichotomies that are incredibly destructive. And we need educators, and there I'm very proud to say I'm one of them. Of course, and you're best to the be myth, that. Dispel the myths of what re Islam really is in relationship to these other two great world religions. Of course, you know,